now I'm finally, sorry, <laughs> I'm finally six months pregnant and we've gone to this point where I can't risk her. I can't jeopardize my child. Air Force veteran Carly Wade says she and her husband struggled through miscarriages before finally getting to celebrate this pregnancy. I spoke to her last Thursday. Yesterday was my last day. Um, so I've worked for the VA for three years. Carly worked a non-medical desk job at the Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Martinsburg, West Virginia. As coronavirus cases increased, she got increasingly worried. Um, my department specifically has changed nothing, even to yesterday. Nothing's changed. It's business as usual. Carly was among 2,200 employees of the Martinsburg VA. The interim director told me in an interview April 1st that 3.6% of his staff was teleworking. A spokesperson confirmed last week that number hadn't changed. That's only 79 people out of 2,200. A number of employees reached out to me questioning VA management decisions. In that April 1st interview, I also spoke to the VA Medical Center's Chief of Medical Services. I want them to know that the hospital's approach was not haphazard, that it was very thoughtful and deliberate. Carly worked for a unit within the Martinsburg VA called Care in the Community. It's an outreach program that plugs veterans in with community doctors if the VA can't help with their specific need. So it's just paperwork. It's just it's all online mostly. There's nothing about our job that we can't do from home. But Carly says her requests to go remote were vehemently denied by her supervisor. There's been several occasions where all of us, she is shouting at us, stop asking me about telework. You're not going to be teleworking. Your numbers aren't good enough. Stop asking me. Carly's co-workers backed up her account, so we wanted to know, is the VA putting employees' health at risk over fears productivity might suffer if they work remotely? And why wouldn't the bosses here make an exception for someone coming to work who was six months pregnant? I repeatedly reached out and connected with officials at the Martinsburg VA. I spoke with the interim director and the chief medical officer April 1st for a broader story about why VA employees weren't being allowed to telework. But since that time, when my questions turned to Carly's specific case, and I asked why telework was being denied to a pregnant woman, and I asked what preventative measures were being taken to protect employees, well, the Martinsburg VA did not respond to my multiple requests for comment. You're going to see more and more employees affected. The American Federation of Government Employees Union President, Dr. Everett Kelly, talked to WUSA 9 last week after his union filed a suit on behalf of 260,000 VA employees about current working conditions at VA medical centers. They're, they're putting employees through a lot of red tape and bureaucracy uh, just to ensure that they beat them down so that they are probably go away and not say nothing. Here's an example. When I spoke to Martinsburg VA Interim Director Kenneth Allensworth April 1st, I asked about this document given to employees, indicating that they needed five different levels of approval in order to telework. I also asked if telework options would be broadened. Yeah, we're looking at numerous work, workplace uh, authorities to include staggering of shifts, uh, relocation of activities or offices to minimize exposure, and then certainly telework. And each of those are case-by-case case as operationally appropriate. Since she's a veteran herself, Carly's primary care doctor is with the Martinsburg VA. She got a letter from the VA, a fact sheet about pregnancy and COVID-19, saying it's too soon to know the effects of COVID-19 on a fetus. But had she not quit, she'd have been expected to be right there at her desk with dozens of others in a confined workspace. They just, they don't care about people below them. We're just numbers, I'm replaceable. The VA press secretary at headquarters in DC did confirm to me that staffing decisions are being made by each director of the individual VA facilities across the country. Those orders aren't coming down from the VA secretary or by anyone else in Washington. So despite the fact that Carly's former colleagues are still having to go into work at the office in Martinsburg, people who do that exact same job at VA medical centers in DC and Baltimore, many of them are in fact working remotely right now. I also asked VA headquarters if they could tell me what percentage of employees were teleworking at other VA medical centers, like the ones in D.C. and Baltimore. I was told I'd have to file a Freedom of Information Act request to get that information, so it could be some time before we have answers for you on that. Adam Longo, WUSA 9.